Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 3 of Exoria, a mod pack by DevQuist. So in the last episode, I crafted a lot more of those trainer base and I set up a lot of them. So much so that I still have 1, 2, 3, 4 not turned on with a, um, with a strainer in it because I was making the time lapse too long like always i was just so excited this new mod pack i'm having a ton of fun with anyway today we got a lot of things to do like really a lot and the first thing i want to do is show something to mr greater aid with his great tip this one doesn't work for me so my understanding is as you've seen i've put a water block on the strainer and one above which gives me a bonus efficiency of zero. If I try to put one just above like this and let the water flow in the strainer below, I get a minus 11. So I thought that's what you said to do. What I decided to try is I even went one layer higher, put a block, put some water, and then break that block to see if that would do something better. And I don't think I can reach it from here. So I have to go downstairs, but when I go downstairs, still minus 11. So I don't know what from your tip and trick I'm not doing well, but I even discovered that I don't need two layers of water. If I just put layer in the strainer base, I have no bonus efficiency, but it does work. So I'm going to do that at least. I'm going to stop putting a layer of water also for the time being until I finally understand the tip and trick. So today there is a lot of things to be done. And some of them are going to take a while. So I said I wanted to finish getting the seeds. I'm missing only two, but I also need some cobblestone that I started cooking here. I'm going to need 64, which is going to bring me to, you know what? Let's just go take a quick look, see if this is completed and get my um, charcoal from this. So let's open this loam up and yeah, this is all ready. And if I break all of this and grab everything from there, it gives me 50 charcoal and seven ash. So that's kind of a great return. And I'm gonna start four more right now, just because I like getting charcoal now. It means I can make torches and it means that I can also, um, I can make torches and I can search for my words. Um, perfect, this is working. And by the way, this is going to be a problem and I'm going to have to use sound because I turn particle to uh, minimal, like another tip and trick from Creator A to try and reduce the annoying um, particles all over the place. They were getting to me. I would like also to try one thing. So let's go to options and music and sound. And I'm going to make friendly creature sound go down to 30%. Just to see. Ah. That tingling seems less to me. I'm not 100% sure that it's less, but it does seem less to me. So hopefully that's what it took, but I'm not, again, like I say, I'm not 100% sure about that because while listening to episode two, I found that that sound was really loud and annoying. So one of the things that we're going to do from now on is that we're going to use the loam to make clay because it's really a great, like, I don't, I don't really need to make that bigger. I might make it one bigger when I move it, maybe. But in the meantime, I need the clay because the clay is really the best material for two things. The clay is the best material for, well, let's just show you. So with the clay, I can make, not this, uh, not here. Let me just find it. Huh? Oh, cob. So see, I can make cob with one dead bush, one clay, and one mud ball, I can make four cob, which is more, which is much easier than the four by four recipe. I can also, with clay, make the clay ball, and with the clay ball, I can make, well, grout that's for later, but I can make concrete, which is something that they want us to make, but even not now, that's for later. For now, what I can do with it is, let me just find it, I'm still searching for it. Uh, well, I can make foam, but that doesn't really matter. Although, would that be a way of multiplying my loam? I still need compost, which I don't. But uh, that's where you make cobblestone with. So I'm just trying to search. You know what? Let's just make it easy. 
Cobblestone. The way to make cobblestone is three rock around the clay or muck or terra clay clump. And terra clay, not that easy to get in this mod pack. Like it's something that you get from a drop rate from this, but other than that, you don't get that much of it. So let's grab this crucible. Whew, and let's grab a bucket of lava because I want to make a uh, vanilla uh, vanilla cobblestone generator. It's about time. We need to get one so that we can start making things. One of the issues I'm going to get, it's always the same issue in this mod pack, is that you want to do things in ground, indoor, because you don't want to have the asshole of the rain all of the time. So what I'm going to do is just dig a little bit right here, and I'm going to put it indoor right here. Oh, my shovel is over, so I don't know how far I want to spend time on this. What I'm going to do for now, let me just craft all of that into ash block. I just want to have, or I guess just make dye because, you know, gray dye is all the rage and so useful. Derp, 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 derp. So in case that wasn't clear, this is really not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was just extend a lip over here so that when rain starts, I won't have the problem of the rain. So for vanilla Minecraft, cobblestone generator you need flowing water and just to make sure that it doesn't go and kill oh I'm gonna have I did this in reverse so just give me a second so first of all I'm gonna put the lava right here I don't know why I went this low I'm gonna put the lava right here which is gonna break my bucket but it doesn't matter I'll craft another one and I'll put now the crucible on top of it right here perfect so that I can also have easy access to water whenever I want to. Let me just open this up. And I need some I need some water. So I have to go back and grab what I need for the water. So just give me a moment. This is really annoying. I'm clicking all over the place right now. So I'm gonna grab a stack of oh, grab a stack of leaves, well dead leaves. Which brings me to I went on Discord and I asked and Putting dead leaf in here wasn't creating water before, but that was a bug. I thought it was the, the normal thing because they're called dead leaf. So I thought that it was normal that there was no water in the dead leaf, but no, it's a bug. And it's finally fixed and it's normal that it gives you water. So don't worry about the fact that it's giving you water. So now when you put it down here, the water flows here. And if I break this, the water stops there, but the lava doesn't, which means I now have a cobblestone generator and the reason we want a cobblestone generator is that we do get rock from here see uh okay <laughs> not in that one but we do get rock so not in that one oh no, sorry not in those the rock is in the survivalist trainer did you see i got 31 rock and how many in this one another 45 and how many in this one another 11 and two more so in three standard one over the whole time lapse, I ended up getting 64 plus 25. So if I break it down like this, it's basically 29 cobblestone. We won't go far with 29 cobblestone, especially when we have a quest that needs more. Oh, sorry. I had to reinstall the mod pack because I was getting a sound problem again. So let's come back here and say open quest with my add sign. It's really my favorite one because it's closest to the mouse. So the better furnace, we're going to need a stone Gallagher, and then we're going to need 64 cobblestone. And to make 64 cobblestone, well, we need 64 clay, and we're at 20, and we need three pile of 64 rock. So now, oh, sorry. So now that we have that, if I come here and I use my flint pickaxe here, the trick to not walk on it is to hold shift and walk up to it so that you're as closest as possible, and then you break it, and hopefully the lava doesn't gobble up all of your rock but you get four per so see already 37 and 41 i have an uneven number to begin with so that was a problem but it doesn't really matter we're going to need all of the rock anyway and we keep we're going to get more from the other production down there so that's two stacks of 64 we just need a third stack of 64 and once we get our third stack of 64 I'm going to leave that alone and make more clay. You know what? I say that, but I might as well just 
get both projects going at the same time because it takes a while for the leaf to melt. So do I have water? Yeah. Do I have more water? Yeah. Do I have more water? Yeah. So now I'm out of loam, but that's not true because when I went here, I didn't pick up all of the loam. So eight loam and seven more loam and six more loam and not that one, that one and two more loam. So with the loam, yeah, I'm going to be good to make enough clay and just take a break once in a while and throw some dead leaves in here. Oh, not the bucket, the dead leaf. And there is an issue and I don't know how to resolve that issue. And I've opened it in uh, on the site where basically sometime if there's a little bit of water left and between loading, it can make it so that the leaves won't won't melt anymore in the crucible. If that happens, unfortunately, all you have to do is break the crucible and start again. There really isn't much more that you can do. So let's continue grabbing some stone. I just want to get my third stack because my clay, I think, is about there. Let me just check my clay. If I do this, I'm at 44. So I still need 20 clay, which means five full clay. So let's do that. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And I think I won't get the fifth one. No. So that's why I did it before finishing the cobblestone. Because now I can refill this. Oh, and I'm out. And while it's it's uh, melting, I can just continue here until I get my 64. Oh no, please. My pickaxe is going to break. Ah. Oh. I got my 64, so it doesn't. I don't mind if it breaks down. And the last loam, which brings me to five, which is going to bring me to 64. Perfect. So now I can make my 64 cobblestone. Although now that I think about it, I had 64 cobblestone in my furnace. I think I made a lot of cobblestone in my time lapse. So I'm probably already good on that. Wow. This makes four at a time, so you have to click it until you get all of it done. Perfect. So that's 64, and it's not detected because I didn't make my stone Gallagher. Oh, it is detected. Huh. So we don't have to do the steps in order. So the stone Gallagher, this is the second bug, which is really a bug. Here, well, not this, Gallagher. So Gallagher, like so. The stone Gallagher shows that you need 16 stone. Fortunately, that's false. You don't need 16 stone. You only need four. I say unfortunately, but it's kind of good because that was so expensive. And in my other playthrough where I'm not recording, I didn't mind that it was cheaty that it worked because all I wanted to do was experience the pack and move forward. But I figured that once it was a mod pack that I was playing on camera, if it was cheaty, it was a problem. The thing is, it's not cheaty. That's normal. There are no crafting recipe that requires more than one item. That's not how the system works. And if you have a situation where you see a count like this, it's a bug because what the answer I got on Discord, which makes a lot of sense is, just let's do a research quickly. Hardened stone, hardened stone. So if you look at hardened stone, you need eight stone around an obsidian plate. We're gonna be doing that soon. But what the guy on Discord ended up saying is, it's, I think it was one of the mod and not Dafquif himself. He said, if the recipe for the Gallagher needed to be hard, we would have made it out of hardened stone or out of uh, granite or something like that to make it harder. We wouldn't do it through a multiple of something. Or at the worst case, we do it. We could have added the um, remember the mod that compresses everything, X compressum or something like that and make it so that you have to use compressed stone. But they didn't, which means it's really just a bug. So now that we have the Gallagher and we have the cobblestone, the next step is to get eight obsidian shards and eight obsidian plate. So if you look at the obsidian plate, it's made in a smelter with an obsidian shard, which is why they wanted us to get the shard in the first place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab some water from here and I'm going to go on top of my mountain here because I really don't want uh, that lava on top of my head. It seems like a scary thing and I don't need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put water right here 
and transform all of this in, uh, into um, obsidian, which might be too much obsidian, but it really doesn't matter. We'll end up using it all in plate or art and stone, I think. So I'm just gonna hold shift and right click until I get my eight shards. And once I get my eight shards, we're just gonna go uh, downstairs and cook them. Wherever the cobblestone is at, we'll just start cooking those and then we can get into the next step. Let's just get one more. This is random factor. Like everything that's random in life is something that annoys me. I'm not a big fan of random things. I like the certainty of knowing. I prefer saying click 12 times and you'll get one than having a random, random factor where at some point you end up getting one. So that's 16. Now let's put these obsidian shards in it. They were detected. We're still going to need to cook the cobblestone because here's, here's the next step. The next step is eight hardened stone. So we're going to need eight obsidian plate and 64 stone. And right now we're at 20. So we're not even close to what we need. Which now brings us to kind of a time because we have to wait for this to cook. And of course it's raining. And if you can't hear the rain, it's because I've turned it down so low because the sound was annoying to me. Maybe it's a bit too low and I should, maybe 50? Or maybe it's just that rain is broken and it doesn't work anymore. So now I have a dilemma because I could go under the poison rain or not, but if I don't go, I'm not going to get my last seed. And if you look at this here, I still need, not 25 dirt, I still need a potato seed and a turnip seed. You know what? Let's, let's get hurt. It doesn't really matter. I just need to get my seed to finish this. So I'm just going to break all of this down until I get all of my seed, sugarcane seed. And obviously, as I've showed you before, you don't die from doing this. You just get uh, damage till you're at half a heart like this. And then we'll just eat some salmon and we'll be fine. So strawberry seed, turnip seed. We're just missing the potato seed. Let's hope that we get it. Oh, yes, we got it. Perfect. So that brings us to all of the seed. Let's go rid of those and put them down here. But it brings us to the next step. And the next step is way more interesting. So this goes there. Potatoes are new, so let's put them there. Turnip are new. Let's put them there. Melons are right up here. Cactus here. Uh, tomato seed right here. Strawberry seed. Rush seed. So rush seed is really important. We're going to start talking about the seeds today because we're going to have to start setting some up. Carrot seed goes right there. Rice seed type 1 goes there. Lettuce seed goes there. There are two type of rice seed, by the way. So grass seed, sugar cane seed, and the regular seed. Like I said, we're damaged, but it doesn't matter because we can cook this salmon. I'm going to show you cooking the salmon, how much food it gives you. So we got all of the seed. We can put this quest to rest and look at the next one. So the next one needs a charcoal and a bamboo. Remember, that's why I planted the bamboo the moment I, I had it, because I knew we were going to need it. So let's throw one charcoal and one bamboo in there, and that's going to give us the new seed, the boral seed. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go and break all of these uh, uh, dry grass, because it's going to give me my dirt back. And right now I need my dirt for the next step. So I'm going to break all of this down like so. Uh, we'd go faster with a tool for it, but it doesn't really matter right now. Let's just finish that quickly and perfect. So now let's do the next level, put the dirt back down. And it doesn't matter that you put all of your dirt because whatever you're not using, you can always get back later. So that seed gives us puzzle. And the same way that the previous seed gave us uh, seed, this one is going to give us saplings and we're going to need one of each of those sapling. So you just shift right click again and already we got two lemon sapling, which I don't like. I would prefer getting different sapling than the same one, but what can I do? So now we got two different one. I think we got an acorn. Oh, peach, banana, acacia, dark oak, pear, 
lemon perfect this is going well I'm gonna break all of this except one strip just to see if we can get all of the seed in one go I don't think we will but it's fun to think that it's possible so not this one let's break this and let's just go down this path and break the rest we're gonna be getting more dirt anyway and this one wow we're not getting a lot of seed mango sapling oak seed and now let's break this one and you know what I really don't care about this it's so easy to make another one of those seed let's just break all of it just in case we were going to get all of the seed uh, doesn't seem like we're having that lock we're missing oh no okay wait we might have all of the seed and I might have screwed up. So let's put this one down and get our jungle sapling and get our spruce sapling. Now the dark oak. Uh, dark oak seed. Perfect. Now two left. So the oak and the acacia. So I already know we, we don't have all of them. And the acacia. And I can already tell you that we're missing birch. So we're missing the birch and the apple sapling and what else that's it so we're missing two saplings so let's start putting these sapling right here for now and we're going to end up planting them i'm going to plant these trees in my time lapse you don't really need to see how to plant sapling and the reason i'm going to do them in my time lapse i'm going to put the list in my video but all of these uh saplings they have a different growth size, which is really annoying. Uh, like the, uh, I think the coconut sapling can take seven by seven of space. So think about it. That's a large, annoying size to take care of. E, my plates are ready. So let's put back the charcoal, uh, not the charcoal, sorry, the cobblestone. I kind of wasted some time on that, unfortunately. So when you're putting the trees down, they're not all the same size. Some goes five occupy a five by five space some occupy a three by three uh, no none of them occupy a three by three I mean some takes a five by side five some take a 15 by 15 like it's just crazy so the first time I tried to grow those I put them like this normally in a row and nothing like one of them grew and all of the rest was blocked so I had to reorganize everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start breaking down the mountain on this side and cover this thing here so I have a larger place to start putting down all those trees. Is this over? I'm not hearing any burn sound. Great. So let's grab all of this. You want to try and keep this fed as much as possible in the beginning. So let's grab all of these four and fill it again. And now I'm going to be very careful about the fire because if I start burning, I'm going to die instantly. Perfect. So this is all taken care of. What else can I do right now? If I look at the quest, I still need those sapling. Well, I'm going to look if we have dirt for it. And that's why I wanted to put this indoor and far from my trees because I didn't want my trees to burn. So loam for 64 dirt ball, another 64 dirt ball. Okay. This is going very well. I'm really good on dirt which I need because I'm going to start looking into setting an indoor farm that's one of the good thing of this mod pack is that seed does grow indoors some of the other mod pack have found a way of making seed not grow outside which makes it really annoying because when things don't grow outside uh, inside sorry I mean you need to keep them outdoor and the problem with keeping them outdoor with this rain is that you're always getting killed or hurt you know what there's another thing since I have enough cobblestone I can start changing my tools now let me just grab an axe and show you what I mean uh, as you've seen making the what's it called making the um, shovel is a very expensive deal in flint and we have a current currently we have a flint issue where we're we don't have enough flint and to get flint, either we go and hunt for rock or we or we get them another way, which is something I'd like to take care of today. So there is a solution to that, but even the solution is not that great. So the other real solution to getting a lot of shovels is we can now start using cobblestone tool. 
So let me do four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and let's grab four shovel. So now if I want to start digging right here to have a garden, it's something I can do because I'm going to be protected from the rain. Like I said, right now it really doesn't matter because I'm not protecting myself from the rain. So it's kind of uh, useless, but it's good that we can now start doing it so that in the future, when I don't want to get all hurt like I am right now, it won't be a problem. Hmm. How do we make the charcoal, the coal torch again? Sketching pad. Oh, let me just search torch. Torch. So torches are made with filter coal. What? Huh? Tar, beeswax. I thought there was going to be an easier... What's a filter coal? Um, okay. Extinguished torch, maybe? How do we craft extinguished torch? You know what? Unlit torch. Oh, okay, so, ugh. It's a cord. So that's kind of expensive, but it's six per, so it doesn't really matter. I just need them right now, so let's make some like this. So it's one and a twine and this, which gives me six torch. Let's make another set and a twine and a this. And that's going to give me a second set of torch, which I can right click on here to light up. Perfect. And I need this because I want to light up my new uh, garden setup. I have two bird seed. Where are they? I don't know where these came from, but I guess I'm one seed away now. So all I'm missing is an apple sapling. That's good. Still means I'm going to need to place down more dirt, but it's good that I have this now. And now that I have a stone shovel, I can continue opening this up really quickly. So I want to make a big indoor garden because I'm going to need a lot of stuff. And the first thing I want to plant well, there are two things that you want to plant. Two things that are, are really important to every Minecrafter's garden, especially in that mod pack. One, the wheat seed, and in this one, the rush seed. And I'm going to show you why. Rush is amazing in this mod pack. Let's just break all of this down. Can I go one further without touching? Yes. I don't want to get into my tunnel, so I was just wondering how far I could go. So let's just start putting the dirt down so that we can get the garden started as soon as possible one two three one two three so that's one two three four one two three four and in the middle here we'll have the water oh the water and let's just get rid of some of that ash oh i forgot to make the <laughs> I forgot to make the flint. Oh, I don't need to make a flint. Oh, I can make a cobblestone. Oh, so let's just make a cobblestone O instead. So let me get all of that. And do I have any shtick? Nope, I'm out of shtick. So I'm going to have to do that first. Let's go and grab some stick. I, You know what? I can use the bamboo stick. And I might start using the bamboo stick just so that I don't have to... Uh, use this method of making sticks anymore. I'm just thinking about it now. So stick and stick and cobblestone, cobblestone gives me a hoe. And with the hoe, I can start setting that down. So let's put these seeds down quickly. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Perfect. And now on this side, let me go finish this side. So this whole side Further back there is going to be my uh, rush site. And rush is super good in this mod pack. I'm going to start planting some down and then I'm going to explain to you why. Huh, that's funny. It gives us a stick back. I forgot about that. So let's break all of this down. So I can go one, two, three deep. I'm probably going to need a torch. Let's put the dirt right here. Ugh, that's annoying. Give me back my dirt. And I don't trust. I want to make sure that I pick it up first. I'm going to need a torch that I'm going to put right here. 
And now we can start planting our rush seed. And our rush seed, if I remember, don't need a plowed, doesn't need a like standard farmland like this, which means I don't have to put it around the water. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. I should have thought about it before. So rush, why is rush this amazing? Well, the way rush work is, first of all, these will always be there unless you break the block. And the way rush work is that it grows in two stage. And the first stage is a rush stem. And the second stage is either a rush tip or a blooming rush tip. With the rush blooming rush tip, you can use nine like this to get two fresh thatching or you can break it down to get some rush seed with a blade. With the standard rush tip, oh sorry, with the standard rush tip, same thing. You can use nine to get two fresh thatching or using the blade on it gives you two plant fiber. So no more needing to get some leaves and putting it there and having to break them down with the hatchet like that's so much better like that and finally the rush stem it's only four not nine to make two fresh thatching or each will give you four plant fiber so plant fiber which we need so much of to make the um the netting for this is going to no longer be a problem which is why i wanted to start this as fast as possible so while we're waiting uh, i'm saying while we're waiting but maybe our cobblestone is cooked. Let's just go take a quick look because if our cobblestone is cooked, it means we can move on to some more questing, which I really want to get as much questing done as possible uh, because the time lapse are when I waste time doing all of the prep usually. So let's just get rid of this and let's go look on our cobblestone. Ah, I ran out of coal. 63. Really, of everything, that's what I get down to, 63, which means this one's going to be 64. We're going to grab it, and we're just going to go and do whatever we need to do. Um, let's split that in two, and let's grab that. Perfect. So now that we have our stone and our cobblestone, we can now make our hardened stone. Let's make our hardened stone right now. We need eight. Just let's make sure that the quest is detected properly first. Stone Gallagher, Cobblestone, Obsidian Shard, Obsidian Plate. Now we need the eight Arden Stone. So, Hardened Stone. Like this. Perfect. And that should be eight. Perfect. Let's that detect. Perfect. And now, if you put eight around like this, this is going to give us a furnace that we cannot use because the next step of this is 40 wattle and daub. And just to remember to show you the reason wattle and daub is not done yet is for wattle and daub you need a cob, which is not a problem, around wicker. That is a problem. Wicker you get with four wheat and some stick. So, eh, foggy oak branch with some stick. So we need some wheat. And to make 40 wattle and daub, let me look at 40. So that's going to make eight each. So five times eight is 40. We're going to need five wicker, which means four craft. Uh, no, not four craft. Three craft of wicker, which means three, six, nine, twelve, which is why I wanted to get this planted as soon as possible, because it's not going to grow in a second. As you see, it's a very slow growth. And because I'm not going to finish the wattle and daub in one episode, what I'm going to do is that the first seeds that the first wheat that we get, I'm going to transform it into seeds. But for that, we're going to need a knife. So let's craft that knife because we're going to need it for so many things. Uh, flint blade, sorry, flint blade. So for the flint blade, we need four flake flint and one flint point. One, two, oh, let's grab all of that. So. Let's break one into a point. Wow, I feel cheated. So four, one, two, three, four, and a point, and a twine right here, and a stick, and the corner here that should give me my blade. Perfect. So I can't use it right now, but if I had some more wheat, oh, 
see this is grown this is two stage grown so what you do is you come down here and you break it like so don't break the dirt be careful make sure that you're selecting this and you just break it like this once you have two stage and you wait for the two stage because by grabbing the two stage i got four rush stem and in this case i got four rush stem so the rush stem i can do this and get already two fresh touching in the rush tip i'm gonna have to either do this and break it down into some plant fiber which i'm going to do for now just to show you or wait that i have nine to get two fresh touching so at least this is started um what else so this is all good i've shown you how i plan on getting all of my cobblestone i've shown you how rush is important we're going to be planting way more rush by the way I'm going to expand this so that this whole side is going to be rush. And since I don't need water, I might just go down this way instead and put more and more and more rush all the way down because you can't have too much rush in this uh, mud pack. You know what I can do though? I can finish this sapling. Let's just take a quick look because we're still waiting on more stone. Although I could go see if my stone is ready. Yeah, I do have more stone. And always remove your charcoal so you don't waste it. The reason I wanted more stone is that instead of going and do things repetitively that I've already shown you, we're just going to just continue and progress with quest. So the next quest that we can do is this one. We need to make the flint grindstone. And if you remember, we had stopped doing the flint grindstone because uh, we didn't have the stack of 16. But it's the same thing. It's a bug. We don't need a stack of 16. So let's make one of these wheel. And now we need flaky. Oh, okay. So change of gear again. We're going to go with another quest first because see, we have a flint problem, but that's what the sluice juice is going to fix. Gathering flint is quite cumbersome. I can make gravel now, which means I can make sift for flint. A sluice seems to be the best for that. I have designed it to be able to hold 10 items. Adding water to it should flint should yield flint from gravel. So we need a sluice box. Sluice box like this is uh, three slab, two stick, a plank, and some fiber mesh. And fiber mesh is nine plant fiber. Ugh, we have the nine plant fiber. So it seemed as if it was planned from the beginning. Let's do that quickly. Perfect. And we need some oak slab like so we're going to need one plank so let's just break this down into one plank so it's plank slab 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 mesh and now we need two sticks so let's put this down right here and make it into two sticks 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 that gives us a sluice box which i'm waiting to detect and now we can just put it down right here and now we need gravel. Let's search for gravel. How do we make gravel in this pack? Very easily, I think, with four stone, four rock. So I'm going to need 40 rock, and I'm going to need some water. So let's just come back here, break this, grab some water, and now we just need the 40 rock. So that's four. Please give me... Ah, uh, it broke. So I'm going to use the same th trick as before and I'm going to use cobblestone now because I have no flint. So it's not even a question of preference. It's a question of I'm out of flint and I don't really have a choice. I have to use cobblestone or walk all over the place until I find the flint that I need. So let's just grab these sticks. One, two, one, two, two, three. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to make one. I don't know how much cobblestone I need for the uh, flint uh flint rhinestone so let's just come back here nope not this tool this tool so that's going to give me 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 and we'll off 40 so you craft them all four together like this which gives you gravel and in this loose box you can put 10 at a time and you add water on top and there's this cool sound and animation and the gravel goes through and gives you wow 12 flints i thought it was one for one but i guess you can get more so that's another quest completed but now that we've completed this quest it gives us the flint to be able to make the flint grindstone i'm just going to break 
all of this into grab uh, flake flint. Why is it taking so long? It feels like, again, the random factor is not on my side. Please just make it happen. This is taking forever. Okay, we're good. So now let's make the flint rhinestone. Uh, flint, I have to write that again. Flint grindstone, like so. Oh, it's flake flint point. It's even worse. I need to make the second level now. Two, four, and now should be good. So let's make the flint grindstone, like this. We needed three stone and two cobblestone. And now, oh, now we need some sticks. So let's put this down here. It's going to give me two plank, which I'm going to transform into sticks. This one and this one. So this is, I know this recipe by heart. I've broken so many of those. So it's three and two like this, which gives us a crank. And now that we have a crank, and not the furnace, sorry, and a flint grindstone, the next quest that we were trying to do is this one. So we need a flint grindstone and a wooden crank. You put the flint grindstone like this. You shift, right click the crank in it. And I'm just going to grab all of my bones and throw all of my bones in here and just start hitting the crank. So the reason I've made so many cranks is that if you're hitting the crank too often when there's nothing left to grind, it's going to break the crank and you're going to have to make another one. So it's always a good thing to stop and click normally once in a while or just check in here and see if there's anything left or nothing left to be done. I'm just going to finish. I don't need to finish all of that, but just let's do it quickly. Come on, let's do it quickly, I said. See, you click it, now it doesn't move anymore. Now you could break it. So we have our bone meal, which brings me to the last step that I'm not going to do completely. Again, same thing. I'm going to wait for the time lapse for that. But if I come right here, I'm going to make a 4x4. Four four. Perfect. And I'm going to plant some grass in that 4x4. Four four. Ugh. I need to eat some food. This is annoying. But I'm going to do this in the time lapse. I don't want to waste any time right now. So I'm going to grab one grass seed. I don't need more than that. Let's put the three back here. And I'm going to plant one in the center. And this is just going to expand over time. And once it's expanded, so the reason we did that is there is a next step to this. Uh, not this one, sorry. Right here, resting. With grass seed and bone meal, I can create tall grass. Breaking it should get me more seed. I found some hemp seed. With it, it can create string. And with string, I should be able to make a bed. So we want to make a bed. And for that, we need industrial hemp seed. And you get industrial hemp seed by making... Uh, two tall grass and the way to make two tall grass is first you need to get grass and by you get grass by bone mealing grass and then once you have one level high grass you click it again with bone meal to make it too high the reason I made this 4x4 four four is as the grass expands around when I click in the center with the bone meal it's not just going to create one grass it's going to fill this with grass and then it's going to give me multiple to click with each your bone meal to break and getting the amp seed, if I remember my other playthrough, it's not easy. It's, again, a luck base. So you're going to be hitting a lot of them. And I'm going to be out of bone. So I'm probably going to have to go run around for bones. Which breaks, brings me to the end of this episode and what I'm going to be doing in my time lapse. So in my time lapse that's upcoming... I want to start working on all of the next steps. So first of all, I want to break this down until I get my apple sapling. If I have time, I want to expand this platform to plant one of each fruit tree because we're going to need each fruit tree to produce fruit for one of the next step. So you want to plant an apple sapling, a cherry sapling, an orange sapling, a pear sapling, a peach, a mango, a lemon, a plum, a coconut, and a banana sapling. You're going to need each of those. So you want to plant all of these. And you're going to need to use a lot of space. So that's one, two things I want to do. Third thing, 
I want to make some more mesh because see, these are empty again. Now I'm, I'm no longer producing any dirt. I'm no longer producing anything else. And what I wanted to show you is we're still going to do half and half. And the reason we're still going to do half and half is that we're going to need some sapphire and some tanzanite. And this is random. I got one here, none in there, three sapphire, three tanzanite, no tanzanite here and none in here. So three sapphire and three tanzanite, that's not even enough for what we're going to want to do. Because for this tinkering quest that I can't click on, we're going to need some. And since it's random, it's something that maybe you put two sluice box and got uh, two uh, strainer base and got everything you needed right from the get go. Or like me, you've had multiple for a while and you still don't have the one that you need because you got seven of these, two of these, four of these, eight of these. Oh, I got some more in here. Oh, two more. So we won't be able to finish that until we get those. And I need to keep those filled all the time because it's resource and we need all of the resource that we can. The other thing that I want to work on is the waddle and daub. And for the waddle and daub, well, first we need these resource. We should be good on the cob. What we need is the wicker. So for the wicker, we need these to grow. They still haven't grown because the growth rate on those is annoyingly slow. But once it's grown, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the knife to make more seed because what I really want is I want to get as much as possible as fast as possible. So the first one wheat, two wheat, three wheat, four wheat, five wheat, six wheat that I get, I'm going to break into seed to fill this with all of the seeds that I can. And I'm always also going to work on collecting this because this is what is going to give me what I need for my strainer base without wasting time and also my fresh, fresh tatch. No, see, I didn't grab the right place and now I broke one seed and one dirt. Well, you never lose the dirt, so it's not a problem, but it's kind of annoying because when you break the dirt and not the item, well, you lose the rush seed and you lose whatever it was producing. So you have to be careful about that. It's not that I have a rush seed problem though, so I can always put them back up. And nine blooming rush, 10 rush them, that's a lot of attach. I should be good with all of this. And this is nine and, huh? Oh no, so blooming versus. So remember what I showed you? You can always do the recipe where you put nine like this and that gives you two more fresh attach. So I've got eight fresh attaching. I haven't shown you the quest where we need it yet, but I already know, where, oh, I, I think I did. Let me just search for concrete. And is it that one? Nope. The immersive engineering? No. The, the that's all white concrete. Uh, is it this one? Nope. That's not that one. Let's just search for attach. What is it called? I don't know how to spell. T H A thatching or something. Whew, that's complicated. For an a Frenchie like me, that's a bit complicated. So the fresh tatching needs to be dried into dry tatching or can be put around a twine to make wet tatch. And wet tatch needs to be uh, dried in the world to get tatch. And I just think that tatch is something that we're going to need for one of the next house, if I remember correctly. I might be messing two things up together and that's always the problem when you're trying to prepare stuff in advance. Maybe it's not the best idea to try and prepare stuff in advance, but I remember that we needed a lot of, I needed a lot of that attaching in my other playthrough, which is why I want to make it. Um, so you have pretty much an idea what I want to do in my time lapse and because the episode is already 50 minutes, I'm not going to have that big of a time lapse, but it needs to get done. I got a lot of work and it's all in the goal of making this progress as fast as possible so that hopefully when I come back from here, uh, from my time lapse, I'm going to have every material for my 40 waddle and daub so I can make the furnace room and all of my sapling grown so that I've unlocked the next quest right here so that you can see what the next step is. And you know what, next episode, we're going to try and complete all of these, well, probably not the resting because I'm probably not gonna get my amp seed, but we're gonna make these tools. We're gonna start with crushing. 
maybe make the basic piping and I think that we're going to start finally get to a place where automation might be a possibility. So I find that this is a good progression for today. You can see I have my vanilla cobblestone, I got my sluice and I got all of the seeds that I needed and almost all of the sapling. So we're doing good and I'm going to continue to progress this mod pack as fast as possible. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!